when there's any kind of an injury to the brain, and we're, we're talking about aneurysm, so bleeding into the brain and the damage that that causes, uh, but also a stroke where, you know, for instance, there's a blockage and there's not blood flow to the brain, to a particular part of the brain for a period of time, there's damage to a localized area. And then the, the brain cells around try to take over and recover for what's been damaged. And sometimes that happens on a quicker basis than other times. And sometimes it happens more fully than it does in other times. And it really depends on what area is damaged and what areas nearby can kind of take over those jobs. So when we say, you know, six months, a year, a year and a half for recovery, that's because the nerve cells in our brain, and, and it's the same for spinal cord with a spinal cord injury, those cells take a very long time to one recover and two for other cells to take over the function of the nerve cells that are not going to recover. Initially when we have an injury with nerve cells the ones at the center are damaged and then there's there's an area of swelling or edema so extra fluid so basically our body brings in all this extra fluid which is healing fluid but there's a swelling in this area so the area that's damaged might be this big but the area that's surrounding it that's swollen is this big. And this whole area is damaged right now. And this whole area is not functioning the way that it's supposed to. But as time goes on and the body starts healing, the edema area shrinks and shrinks. And those cells recover their function. So some of the recovery of function that we have after a brain injury or a stroke is cells that were never really damaged, but they were just in the area around the cells that were damaged. So they were stopped functioning for a short period of time. And then the one, the cells that are damaged, other nearby cells try to pick up those jobs and learn what those cells were doing.